Hey guys, I don't have the screen behind me and I have that light turned off, which is always that light that casts a shadow this way. So I just wanted to see when I upload this, like what this is going to look like. First things first, chapstick time. <laughs> you already know. I purchased a few things, like why I'm not going anywhere, right? Whatever. <laughs> I made a purchase from Target because there were some household things that I needed and for free shipping I think you need to spend like $35 and so I put in my cart <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me this thing here <laughs> I know it looks really weird and it says skin camp on here and I'm looking at the invoice so I don't get the title wrong this is skin camp under eye massager and the reason I thought this would be good is because I do use um, an eye serum that I put under my eyes and you can put it across your mobile lid all the way up to your brow bone, which I really like. And I also use an eye cream. So I thought that this would be really soothing. Oh, and it feels nice because it's cold because it's metal. <laughs> and so I thought, you know, I'll just use this for my under eye cream. It's just weird because of how it's shaped and it looks really big and bulky. Um, but because the ball part comes out as it should, it does feel really nice under there. So I figured I would use this for just massaging in. That feels really nice and cool. This might help my under eye bags. <laughs> for my under eye cream and serum. And I think it might have been like 7 bucks or something like that. I purchased the e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer in Rose. It was not in the box. And my shipment came in three separate boxes. The box that the Rose Eye Putty Primer came in, it didn't even have an invoice in the box. And so I went online and emailed in saying that this wasn't in there, so they're gonna send that out to me. And with the 5% off using my Target card, I think it only cost me $3.79 or something like that. So it's not terribly expensive. Nothing I purchased was terribly expensive. So what I purchased was, well, from Sephora a while ago, not that long ago, maybe a couple of weeks, and I forgot to mention, was the Fenty Rosé Latte Cream Blush because I'm going back to cream products because of my allergy to nickel. And if I were really thrilled about it, I wouldn't have got this because once I hit pan, even on the sides, it'll start breaking my face out. And I did not get a bronzer, though, because I'm like, I don't, because I knew it's going to end up breaking me out. What I purchased from Ulta, let me go back to the Sephora order. I purchased the Viseart <laughs> Bridal Satin Palette, and it is an all metallic slash shimmer palette. And I pulled out the Sultry Muse palette because there are some differences. They're both all shimmer palettes. That's not what the difference is. The difference is not a difference. They are basically the same size. The differences are, and that I was disappointed in, because I have two other Viseart palettes and they're all rounded. This one is square. And so I was like, ew. Because <laughs> I have a thing with, if something goes with something else that it completely looks the same, or like the same design. And that's what I like about Fenty. All of her packaging has like that same octagonal design. But this one is square. And I'm just like, ugh. And also, with the rounded one, you can just push it up. Where this one, if you want to just pull it up, you have to put pressure. Otherwise, you have to put your fingernail under here to open it. So that's another difference. Another difference is, on the rounded ones, it has Viseart under the director's chair or the makeup artist chair or your client's chair. This one does not. <laughs> and so I'm like, and yes, the bridal satin is an older palette another difference is <laughs> that i was disappointed and not that it should matter and i'll tell you why these ones and the other ones i have they have these little grooves here where you can take the pan out and rearrange them if you want to i never rearrange my shadows and so it shouldn't matter but because it's not uniform <laughs> it bothers me that this one doesn't have that option and when i thought back I remember seeing videos where people were saying, oh, Vizzy right now and you can take out the the shadows and move them around, whereas you couldn't before, and it it didn't register until I purchased this one. And I'm like, 
oh yeah, that's not new. And also what disappointed me, disappointed because it's square, disappointed because you, because of the way it opens, disappointed because these ones, the rounded ones have a 36 month lifespan once you open it. The square one, 24 months. So instead of three years, you have two years, which is still a long time to use shadows. But I was just like, eh. I purchased it because <laughs> it was on sale for $64.50. These retail and is back regular price now for $80. And if you do the math, it's like 20% off. So I think they were maybe trying to clear inventory. And so if you have your eye on Viseart stuff, look at the Muse Beauty Pro website and also go back and forth between the Sephora site and see which is having what type of sale because I purchased this I think like two weeks ago from the Sephora site for $64.50. And so it doesn't bother me that it's all shimmer metallic because I have two of the Viseart all matte palettes. This one is the Natural Matte Milieu which I've done entire eye looks with and this one is the Warm Matte which I've done all matte eyeshadows looks with all matte shadows eyeshadow looks all matte looks with that's what I'm trying to say and I enjoy pairing the sultry muse with both of the matte palettes and so I'm thinking I can do the same thing and I will do the same thing with the bridal satin palette I'm trying to open it without because my nubby nails, look at that. Like I keep my nails like super short. And so even though these are both shimmer, shimmer metallic palettes and some of the colors may look similar and this bottom row is really washed out because that is not that pale in person. <laughs> okay, that's more of like what it looks like. But these two rows right here, these are what's called in my name, especially once you get to here and over in these two rows. And so I am really excited to try this and I will do a base face and then come back on and do a look with this palette. So there are a couple colors you may say look a little bit similar, but on the eye, they may still look similar, who knows. But for the lighter shades, those are mostly gonna be my inner corner and brow bone highlight and the other colors will be for my lid. And so I am not at all disappointed at that. And that's where we are with those. And so if you do want Viseart, as I said, just go back and forth and look at where the cells are and what the cells are doing. One other thing before I move on, I should have wrote notes down, right? With these two satin palettes, as with any of your eyeshadow palettes, you can mix and match the shadows. Like this one here has this bluish gray color. This one has a darker grayish color and a darker bluer color. You compare these two blues together to do, an, um, to do a monochromatic look. And so even though some of the colors may look similar or this one may look cooler or warmer or whichever, whichever, you can mix and match these. And so I really enjoy these. Don't let people steer you away saying, oh, it's all shimmer or, oh, these are all matte. Some people like me, I don't mind an all matte look sometimes. I definitely don't like all shimmer looks, period. So, <laughs> but I will do an all matte look in a heartbeat. I am 51 years old. I don't believe everything has to shine, okay? No. I'm oily enough right here without <laughs> extra stuff. Moving on, that was so irrelevant. <laughs> from Ulta because I am getting back into cream products. I purchased two of the, I was going to trip over my tongue, two of the putty blushes. This is the packaging. This one is Caribbean and the color is the color that's on, that you see. It is a hard plastic case and so what you see is what you get. I don't know how it's going to look once I put it on, but this is Caribbean. And the other one I purchased is Bali, and this is the color here, this is the color here, that's that color. <laughs> and this is what that looks like. I should open them both, and I'll put a picture somewhere.
both of the blushes were six dollars a piece this is caribbean this is bali i think i said bali before i don't know and i also purchased because i don't like using my fingers for makeup i also purchased the elf let me say it right i'm looking down at my invoice the elf putty blush brush <laughs> and this was four dollars and as you can tell it is a dual fiber brush and so four bucks and so i'm hoping it, it works really well and if not it was four bucks and so we're going to try those out and i think i might do one color on one side and one on the, on the other i think the fenty one i will just use for another day when i want uh makeup no makeup look because i have a feeling once i blend this in it is going to just blend in and just give like a hint of color where i think these will give me color and so i'm going to speed through a base face and we're going to jump into these blushes and into the bridal satin viseart eyeshadow palette i did my base face probably can't tell <laughs> I did not put on under eye concealer though. So depending on how my face is tilted, you will still see, you know, my, um, the hollows underneath my eyes and my forever bags, which concealer doesn't conceal my bags anyway. So we're going to, what am I doing? I picked up the wrong thing. We're going to use the Caribbean, Car the Caribbean <laughs> blush on this side and I'm going to use one side of the brush then flip the brush over and use Bali or Bali however you pronounce it I believe it's Bali I don't know so hopefully this will work well I did not set my face with anything so I am going to just lightly is it picking up anything let's see this is going to be interesting and I'm hoping this works because if it does, because this is a hard plastic jar, I will be able to use every bit of this. Or even when it gets low, I can always just scoop some out with uh, a little, um, not little because it's long, a metal spatula. And I can put it on this palette and then, you know, use the brush to scoop it up that way. So I can actually even do that with the, with the Fenty one. Ooh, I was thinking it wasn't picking up color, but it did. I mean, you can see it did, but for some reason, because this brush is so soft, I wasn't sure that it was going to deposit it on my skin. That is, um, <laughs> uh, I don't want to move my foundation, even though it did set really quickly oh my I'm gonna scoop not scoop I'm gonna dip a little bit more because it looks like there's a gap right here oh my this has a lot more <laughs> color than I thought it was gonna have this is the brush I use for my foundation so I'm just gonna stipple over the edges actually over the whole thing and I'm wondering if it would not be this vibrant looking without all of these lights, even though lights tend to wash it out. Now this I like. Ooh, that's some color. Okay. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's color right there. So that was Caribbean. I'm going to flip the brush over, even though it still is some in the tips. I could use a different brush. I might order another one of these if I really like it. Again, this brush was only $4. Trying to see what other brushes. I mean, I and I do have other brushes I could use, but I really just want to get a feel for this one. So I'm going to try to scoop it where that first color is not. And it seems like it's not picking up, but I can tell from how this looks that it is. I mean, it's very deceiving. This one is definitely, I like that color, softer, more of a, I am not good at describing colors. How would you describe this color? Like a pale brick red, brownish red. I like this one a lot because it's not that woo, like how this one, I was just like, holy Toledo Batman, what is going on here? This one I feel like I can't mess up on because of the shade and my skin tone. 
I really like this one. And this one I don't necessarily feel like I need to go over it with my foundation brush. But I still will because I just like how it gives that smoother blend, especially, especially around the edges. I really like that one. This is the foundation brush I used. This could be like a no makeup makeup blush too. I really like this. And even in person down here, I can see the red here, but I don't know if it looks like in person if somebody punched me in the face. <laughs> Cause that's what it's kind of looking like in person. Even on camera, I don't think it looks that way. But in the, in the camera, in the mirror down here, this one just kind of blends in with my complexion. It's like, is it colored there? Is it not colored there? I am digging it. I like both of these. I would have to see this in daylight to see if it looks like I've been punched in the face. So which ones are you guys really digging? Caribbean? Or Bali? Let me open these back up for you. This is exciting. Like to find a product you put on and it looks nice. Hopefully when I wash it off, I won't have bumps on my face. <laughs> Caribbean? Bali. This is like there, not there. And you can build it up, I'm sure. But I kind of, I'm going to do it, but I don't really want to because I'm liking how it's looking. So I'm going to take some more. Oh, wow. And it doesn't seem like it's moving my makeup. My foundation. It doesn't seem like it's moving my foundation. Oh my gosh, guys. And this I'm just going around the edges. I'm not going through the middle. I just want to further blend it. Oh my gosh, I'm liking this one. This is my favorite. But if I'm going for a color color or if I'm not doing eyeshadow, which who sees your face anyway because it's the pandemic. But this I would do and just do my brows and do a lip. This, this would go with any eye look, I think, or almost any eye look. So this is with the Viseart 03 Bridal Satin Palette and the Viseart Warm Matte Number 10 Palette. That's how I achieved this look today. And trying for the first time Elf Putty Blush in Caribbean on this cheek. And Elf Putty Blush in Bali on this cheek. I'm so excited. This has enhanced my happiness. <laughs> and I'm going to go because I am just, I'm just so tickled. I'm so thrilled. If you have any questions about anything on my face, leave them below. And that is it for this video. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share if you choose to. It's free. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.